So it's a strong turnout as always. A lot of title players. Actually, I feel like this is a smaller turnout than usual though. I've seen it peak over 600 players, but there's still a lot of time to join. Happy that you are back. I'm happy to be back. I'm still overcoming some jet lag and some some small Let's sickness, go. but hopefully I can find my energy today. So how about this? How about I do one warm-up game? Um, I actually spent a little bit of time before the stream began to make another layout. Although it's a little bit scuffed. I have to like zoom in. Now it should be okay. <laughs> and I have the extension to enable Zen mode on chess doc. Oh no, what did I do? Zen mode, there we go. Yeah, we have the chess com Zen command. Good luck today. Maybe need an extra coffee today. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you, Dr. Giggy. I've actually been trying to avoid coffee to like not make it or not make me Island. more sick. Um, trying to have things that are good for my stomach. You Torbald. Back. Hope your travels were lovely. They were, yeah. I woke up today at uh like three AM. So gradually I'll I'll overcome some jail hag. It's currently nine forty six AM US Central Time. I'm sorry for your suffering in Bali. Welcome back. <laughs> It was uh, it was not really much suffering, but uh, thank you, JJ Dynamite. It was a good time. I'm trying to adjust to the colder weather now. So, I have to get used to like the hot keys here. So this is my first scene. This is my second scene. I might play most of the games on this second scene because the board is bigger. I feel like it's a little bit more optimized for for viewing. And I think what I'll do is turn on Zen mode, or I'll start a game, time. and then turn on Zen mode. So I won't know who I'm playing. Yeah, so this is what I see. And then I'll switch the scene, so... Was it laggy there? Hopefully I'm not lagging too much. Thank you, Anonymous, gifting five. Appreciate that. Oh, do I have alerts on this scene, though? I hear them. Uh... Okay, I'm trying to adjust OBS here. Okay, this is some standard theory. Okay. So queen a5 and rook, uh, rook fc8 is usually the go-to idea. I'm realizing I should probably add Zen mode to the stream title. Maybe have the command in the title too. Can do that after this game. Yeah, b3. I might as well take and then this is a very typical maneuver knight d7 usually eventually to c5 and target b3 okay so b3 is hit sometimes what black will do is like queen b4 and then rook a3 Exerting more pressure on B3. Thank you, MCOX. 29 months road to GM. Yeah, one month at a time. I'm not sure if I'm actually threatening to take. I might just want to marinate the pawn with my pieces and then eventually consume it. It's a rune. I'm oh, good luck. Wish me luck. Good luck. Yeah. Twice the amount of luck. I've always play f6. 
I won't be making it to Reykjavik this year. I did play the last two years. It's a great tournament. Okay, I think I have to take. Can I get away with take queen f2? She looks pretty good. Oh, there's queen e3, though. Oops. I thought I would have this, but then this. That's not good. Uh, rook a3. Probably have to try rook a3. Although maybe rook a2 has some merit. I'm still allowing takes, but maybe king h6. It's not pretty. So the point is if rook b3, I can take on e2 and then trade a bit. Yeah, that's a good move. I think I have to play rook a3 now and then just pray. Again, I don't know who I'm playing, so I don't know if like I I want to still try and win or fight for a draw. Time-wise, I probably want to fight for a win still. So this prevents the perpetual with this, this. I'm down a pawn now. King's not happy. Knight's still pinned. Rookie one, maybe? Maybe queen c5 first. How to get my knight back. Oh, it doesn't work. And this, knight c5. Oh, I allowed rookie two though. Oh dear. Opponent misses it. I have this move. I can take. I'm still guarding. Oh, I missed that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, you know what it's time for. It's time for the stalemate trap. I should not jinx myself, though. We're getting closer. Ah, a phone didn't fall for it. Okay. I was hopeful, when, like when I saw queen takes f7. A phone plays queen e7, though. What do you Good call game. two guys hanging from a window? Kurt and Rod. Kurt? Oh, like Kurt and Rod. Ah, ha ha. Hey, it's Alex Werner. Alex Werner is the one who's, um, who made this extension. A beautiful Zen mode extension. So... Thank you, Alex. Thanks for the joke, too. Um, I don't think I have time for another game. At least another Blitz game. So I'll try and mentally get into some Zen mode and stay calm after that one. I guess I can analyze that. Um, at some point, I, I made a very bad move. I think taking on b3 was, uh, yeah, not called for. I'm just missing queen e3. And there was a point. So here, rook e2 would just, I think, win on the spot. But then here. Yeah, I didn't see queen h4 coming until it happened. Um, so this is probably just losing for black. What to do? Oh, it's Wednesday in the Philippines. Yeah, I wonder how many players in this tournament are already in Wednesday. So what scene do people prefer? Do people prefer this scene or this scene? This scene, I would have to just do this to make it normal again. 
This is like the, the, the one I usually have done. A lot of people saying second. So I assume this one is the second. And then this one was the first. So really small me or big me? Let's do a quick poll. What do people prefer? Small Eric, big Eric. So this is a usual one where you can see like the player list and everything. But then when I turn on Zen mode, like it kind of, it becomes very minimal. And then with this one, I mean, the board's bigger, so maybe people watching on mobile can more easily see everything and see what people are saying. Oh, it's kind of close. Wow, it's like very close. Slight preference for Big Eric. <laughs> what if it's a tie? I can't, I can't use both scenes at the same time. Maybe someday, someday I'll, I'll multi-stream on Twitch and YouTube. And then I'll make it so like Twitch will have one scene, YouTube will have the other scene. Wow, it's a tie. Are people just trolling me? I feel like both scenes are acceptable though, right? I hope. Maybe I'll keep it like this. This is what people are like used to. What I've been doing for a long time. Okay, so the tournament starts in what, about 30 seconds? Um, I think for the the whole duration of the tournament, I will be using Zen mode. I won't know who I'm playing. Um, again, the command is chesscom zen. Links a Chrome extension. And let's enable emote only. Mute alerts. Here we go. Okay, first opponent. I don't know who I'm playing. Probably not Magnus though. I'll play e4. I have a French. I'll play the sign. Yeah, usually I play a, a low rated opponent the first round of Title Tuesday. Second round is sometimes a toss up, though. Yeah, that's a weird development scheme. Uh, Knight H4, interesting. You can just castle. Now, the idea of bishop d3 was to take the knight and then play d4. But now I might have to find some other plan. f5 doesn't work. Hmm. Rook e1. How about bishop b1? No. A little bit torn what to do here. I think I'll play b3, bishop b2. It does feel a little bit wrong, but... It's a matter of untangling the queen side, getting the rook to e1. Okay, black is threatening. Is black threatening c4? Probably. So I could play c4 myself. Bishop b2 coming. I want to keep in mind this f5 break, which I didn't play earlier because e5 was hanging. It would have been hanging. And usually black will play like g6, h5 to prevent white from expanding. Casting. A five. Take. I'll try it. 
I'm conceding the bishop pair, but maybe winning a pawn in the end, but maybe not. Knight c2 now. Knight c2 maybe doesn't work. What if I take and queen f7? Threatening this, but also threatening to take and then take with check. Risky. Queen defends d2, knight attacks d4, queen also attacks this and this. Don't want to take that though. Huh. Take this. Crazy position. Hitting the queen and the bishop. I think my opponent just missed it. It's still tricky. I'm down on time. Threatening d3. Yeah, take side check and win the bishop. Okay. Ooh. Who was I playing? Uh, FM from uh, Hungary. Hard fought game. Um, I took a lot of time around here. It took 40 seconds to play B3. Thank you, Obese Reese. And that Chai Town dude. And this is Marvelous and Ponder. Thanks everyone for subbing when I wasn't looking at chat. So yeah, when, I, when I'm playing these games, I have uh, chat and OBS minimized. So I can't even like see the emotes or see alerts. Oh, let's turn off emote only mode for now. And um, I might as well watch some games. Oh, wow. Napo losing first round. Ouch. 
Ouch. Napa was... Yeah, Napa was white there. Oh, King's Gambit. I think Napo has a course on the King's Gambit. Checkmate in one. Queenie one was missed. That could have been another upset. This is Mama Diarov, I think. Yeah. And now it looks like Black has better winning chances. Still crazy, though. Is bishop e1? Not sure if there's a chance there. Oh, okay. White gets mated. Yeah, if we just go back. Uh, queen e1 checkmate. That's a big miss. But not every day you can have maiden one against a super GM. Okay, so games are wrapping up. Rustemov is a player I I have played a lot uh, over over the years in Title Tuesday. This looks like a draw though. White was <clears throat> White is keeping the distant opposition now closer opposition. And just a few games left. Am I better than Nepo? I do have more points than Nepo, but I don't think that makes me better than him. At least in chess. Ooh, rookie three. Oh, this is still a dead draw. Or is it? Wait, White's winning now. Wow. White's winning. Uh, this is Roberto something something Molina, um, former winner of the IM Speed Chess Championship. Let's watch another game. Yeah, this is a dead draw. And then this game. And this is winning for Black. Been enjoying the Blitz Tourney re recaps and speed. Ah, the re recaps. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler Maker. Yeah, I'll have to record some more. Um, I've been spending the last two days or last few days uh, recovering from jet lag and a little bit of sickness. But uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll, I'll have the energy to do more content this week. Oh, this is a draw. Wait, did white mouse slip? Or maybe it was winning. Yeah, maybe it was just winning. Okay, I'm going to turn back on Zen mode. And also emote only mode. Next round starting any moment. Okay. Opponent has one point. I'm white again, two whites in a row to start the tournament. I'll play e4 again. And I don't know if I'm playing like a higher rated or lower rated, so I'm just going to do something solid. It's easy opening for Blitz. We have this sign. Uh, what's the line here? D5, knight B5. I forget the best move for black. It's not taking because there's queen G3. It might be this move. 
Yeah, there's some like really weird theory here, which I don't think my opponent knows. I used to play this a like, decent amount from the black side, a so-called Schmid defense. I think objectively it's playable. A6, so if I take and then take, be up a pawn. So I have 96. And this looks a bit more straightforward. Bishop e6 is the most natural. And queen. Oh, there's that move. Maybe that's most natural. Am I losing? I thought I was the one tricking black in this opening. Might just have to give the rook and then pray. Oh, that's really bad. Queen c4, no. Bishop b5 doesn't work. Queen b3. Yeah, this is not good. Just spending my time looking for any sort of tricks or counterplay. Um... This is the best thing I see. It's so sad, though. The idea is after knight a1, I have rook e1. Man, there's bishop g4 and queenside castle, though. Or that. If I take... Knight g5, queenside castling. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win the knight. I mean, bishop c3 and king can walk. Okay, it looks like I am winning the night. Some small victory. Or am I? A good move.
I'm gonna get the knight to e7. Please play this. Yeah. I've the final position I think is just is it just losing? I don't know. I didn't see a move. Knight g3 one walks into rook b3. Okay. Good game. Oh, I was playing on Dragon. I honestly thought I was playing a low-rated player. I should have done some guess elo there. I mean, he did play very strongly. Uh, what to do? I, I I blundered pretty early in the game with um yeah with taking on d five. I discovered this line a few months ago, maybe like late twenty twenty three. I was just trying to find like new ideas against uh, this variation. And a lot of players will take walking into queen g3, which is already good for white. But I clearly did not remember what to do against a6. Whoa, it's three Alloway. Gifting 50. Thanks so much. Good to see you back. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, if you're just joining, I just unknowingly played on Draken, who maybe is streaming. I mean, he has a YouTube channel, clearly. Um, I'm just going to quickly check. Ah, Bishop G5 best move, leaving both knights attacked, but counterattacking the queen. F6 and then take. Yeah, it'd be a nice line to like, be prepared more thoroughly. Okay, I'll save some more analysis for later. Yeah, if you were gifted a sub, do say thank you. Really appreciate the support. Thanks earlier to Refrica too, subbing a tier two for 65 months. Oh, Z Nation too. Nine minutes ago, subbing for 76 months. Yeah, welcome to the a lot of the OGs in chat. Okay, let's see if any games are going. Oh no, so I should put back on Zen mode. Oh, three Alloway with a thousand bits as well. Thanks so much. Eric, I have a proposition for you. I'll give 50 subs and 1,000 bits now because I don't want you to feel any pressure. But if you finish top 20 in this TT, I'll gift another 50 subs and 1,000 bits. Top 20 would, would require probably my best performance ever. So I guess it's still doable. I just have to win, like, my next... Whatever, my how many wife games? And I are inspired to go to Bali because of your videos. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yeah, Bali was super nice. And it's like very affordable too. Like if you if you come from a Western country, like the US dollar, the euro goes pretty far there. Thank you, Chesscom D E. Oh, Zefcat rated 11 minutes ago. Yeah, I was probably still playing the game. Also, a new game isn't... Oh, there's one game going this round. Okay. It didn't show up before. Hey, I have the same score as Nepo, probably. Assuming Nepo didn't withdraw... Also assuming he won his round two game. Okay, back to Zen mode. Back to emote only mode. 
And this will be round three. So I could be playing Nepo, but let me try to not psych myself out. Yeah, so Mussolimo, C3, D5. I feel like I encountered this recently. I have no idea if this is a theory. Bishop e7, castle. Okay. Trying to stay focused. That's a good move. Move f6. Just trying to get rid of this pawn. If it takes, I probably take with bishop. I would still concede the d6 square. Maybe I have bishop e5 in that line. Opponent taking a long time. Bishop f4. Against most moves that aren't pawn takes pawn, I'm ready just to take. So takes, takes, knight d6, bishop e5. Calculating knight c8, bishop h2, king h1, take g3. Oh, but then f2 is attacked. So the line is this, 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 this. Still confusing, though. Oh, I could play bishop e5. It's also a confusing move. I take and bishop d4. Play bishop e5. So if rook takes, I take, and that's fine. Maybe d5 coming. Or a5, knight d4. I'm doing well on time. So d4, bishop d3. I start with it, like bishop b7. We got the two bishops, open f file. Maybe knight h4 coming. I want to keep this bishop.
That's a bad move. Allowing takes. But that maybe takes. Okay, not meant to be. I resign. Oh, good game, though. That was a good fight. Had, like, a decently stable position. I did miss knight d7, but, like, already... Yeah, white was in good control. a6 was weak. It's weird, the engine is saying, yeah, white's slightly better. Yeah, I would have thought black was for choice with uh, two bishops and knights, but maybe not. I may have just been worse the whole game, even around f6. Okay. Let me um let me change my settings to it used to show multiple lines. I don't know how this got changed. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um so now in order to finish top twenty, I probably have to win the rest of my games. Oh, should I update the title? Let me update the title with a command. Chess comes in. Yeah, this is one of these games where I don't know exactly where things went wrong. It was kind of gradual. Like white was pretty solid. 
When I played rook f6, I had ideas of this, but it doesn't really work because bishop takes and then d7 hangs. Oops. Okay. Um, I, I pressed the, the hockey before seeing my opponent. So all I know is I'm playing a title player, probably lower rated. I'll play e4 again. And we'll have a Pierce. I'll play the setup with like g3, bishop g2. Something a little bit different. F4 might be an idea coming soon. I might as well gain space. If I take... Knight h4 is kind of annoying, so I might take on g6 and just reinforce. Yeah, the king should go to h1 soon. In the long term, like one idea is to exploit the f7 pawn. Like queen f2, bishop moves, g5. It does take some time. And rook e7 is not currently possible because bishop takes d6. Now threatening this. Knight a2, queen a3. I think that's okay though. Rook a1. The queen looks very precarious. I think it has to move here too, because otherwise I have uh, d5 after queen b6. I'm threatening bishop c1 to trap the queen. Queen b2 runs into rook fb1, queen a3, bishop c1. Ah, so that creates a square for the queen. It really feels close. D5 is a good move, though. B4. Try this first. Not sure if this works. Now it looks okay, like bishop bishop g5. Oh, 
a lot of pressure now. This diagonal. If I take okay, now ninety two. We're dancing around a lot. I'm still attacked. Yeah, things should be under control now. C4. And black wanted to play c5, but then I'll have d5. Okay. I was a little bit scared of A2 in some positions, but uh, got the job done. I was playing Asa Hoffman, whose name sounds familiar. I feel like I've seen his games before somewhere. Okay, so that was round four. On a break, uh, I'm at 50%. Two out of four. Yeah, this is maybe not the cleanest game, but um, I tried to be solid from early on. I did like the position from the opening. Uh, engine prefers g5 here, which is actually nice because there's no knight h5 and if takes, I can take f6 first. Okay, thank you to G. First time, Prime. Katherine, Prime for three months. We missed you, Eric. Home sweet home. I missed you too, from Terra Vesa. Happy 24. And happy two years. I did B4 work after D5. So when was d5 played? Oh, d5, yeah. I took a lot of time there. I briefly considered b4, um, but I think the problem is I'm not really threatening much. Because an a4 is hanging. It probably takes or takes should be suitable. And b4 probably de4. And then, yeah, bishop c1. Is no longer trapping the queen because queen takes a4. Yeah, 
Wow, so this was okay for black. Like, white's for choice, but it's not so simple. And the only move to keep the edge according to the engine is e5. Which I was close to playing, but I didn't want to go for this. That's still very imbalanced. They do not so clear. Happy 15. So, uh, we are due for a break. Let me make sure that I have the timer. Oh, games might still be going, though. Poem. Oh, maybe poem. not. I can guarantee I know oh, yes, my poem. Rhyme this with that. Rhyme Chris with Pratt. And other good wordplay atop the lingo totem. Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome back, your boy Logie Bear. I appreciate the poetry, as always. Oh, there's a question from John Taff. How to count pieces on the board efficiently instead of counting lost pieces? Um, it comes with experience. I mean, sometimes you just keep track. Like, the game starts with equal material. And then when pieces come off, you kind of, you, you can still gauge. Like, that was a fair trade. That was a fair trade. And then when I won the exchange, I just know that I have a, a rook for minor piece. But sometimes when I'm looking at a, a fresh position for the first time, then I'll, I'll first just look at the pawns. So both sides have uh, five pawns. And then you just go through like queens, okay, White has Rook and Knight for two bishops. Nepo's last game ended with him mating with two knights, really? Nepo does have a history with horses. Wow. Wow. Let's see how this happened. Oh, he's playing Gulamali, who is one of the best bug house players in the world, but also a good chess player. Okay, let's just zoom forward. Let's see Nepo's amazing skills. Yeah, this looks very drawn. Oh, the bishop has has perished. Yeah, imagine Nepo did not foresee nine of five. So all white needs to do here is like give away the pawn. It's just a, a dead draw. I don't know if chess.com would claim it as a draw though. Actually a little bit curious. But then, wow, this is, this is crazy. Wow, somehow Nepo like forced the king. Like by now it's already winning for black. The knights do such a good job of controlling these squares. The king had to go in. Wow, what a finish. Yeah, there's a whole Wikipedia article on this specific endgame scenario of two knights against a pawn. Um, if anyone's curious, it's called the Troitsky line. Or actually, it's, uh, yeah, the Wikipedia article is called the two knights endgame. But then there's a concept called the Troitsky line, which is somewhere... That's a long article. Here we go. Yeah, there's this weird concept where 
depending where the pawn is, it's either winning for the knights or drawn. And this is, I guess, the line. So um, if the pawn is like, has crossed these squares, then I think it's drawn. But if it's before these squares, it's winning. Some positions are saved by the 50 move rule. Anyway, link is in the chat if anyone wants to uh, learn about this endgame. And yeah, even though um, it's possible to get a checkmate with king and two knights against king, uh, it's not forcing. There needs to be a pawn to, um, to create forcing scenarios. Okay, we have about a minute. Thank you, Jay Page. You're the best. Hey, happy, happy one year. You're the best as well. Can we both be the best at the same time? Sir, we are out here trying to not blunder our queen on move six. <laughs> yeah, you probably, that's probably the first thing to, or one of the first things to like learn as a chess player how to not blunder your queen. But as you learn more, you can eventually get to these very complicated in game situations. Yeah, maybe we're all equally tied for the best. Okay, let's put it back on Zen mode. Back to emote only. So I'm two out of four. Try and get to a plus score. Wait, what happened? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I was on the wrong tab. Okay. Good thing I still had the original tab open. Okay. So we have a Sicilian playing the accelerated dragon. Yeah, Marazzi bind. Usually white develops a bishop before castling, but I guess it's still playable. I had a very similar game right before this title Tuesday, which featured the same idea, like putting the pawn here. Usually the queen comes here, knight goes to d7. Um, let's start with queen a5. I do have to be careful playing knight d7 because my bishop might get trapped. Here maybe take some queen b4. I have no idea if this is theory. Just trying to follow the standard plans. Knight d5 might be coming. F5. F5 is actually... a little bit problematic. I have to play bishop d7. I guess after it takes, takes knight d5, there's queen c5 check. So I'm not like losing material, I don't think. I might be losing the pawn though. I could take with bishop too. Take with bishop. It's still not pleasant. Bishop c6. Yeah, there's problems here. And bishop g5.
Not looking good. Try bishop c6. Be losing a pawn. Hitting the rook and the e pawn. I'm probably just fighting for a draw here. Yeah, I should be winning back the pawn. Maybe I can I can at least keep the game alive, push for something. Well, I have slightly worse structure. It'd be hard to do though. Oh, there's no risk. Yeah, it's hard to conjure up ideas, though. I'm moving around, like looking for any sort of idea in the position. Like a five.
Okay, this is what I want. What I really, really want. So now it's king and king and two against king and one. Oops, I just allowed the rook trade. That's not what I want. What I really, really don't want. It's still a draw though. I really butchered that. Now my opponent will torture me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, what to do? Uh, I won the pawn and then like just lost it back, basically. I should have just played like rook h1. Oops. What did I do? I mean, the position's still a draw, but... I'm a little bit disappointed. Like I should have been able to try and grind down my opponent. Okay, I already saw my opponent's username, so this game won't be in Zen mode. But I am using um uh extension for Zen mode. We do have the command. Let's play this one. It's a nozzle was. Yeah, so the point of this opening is white gambits a center pawn, but I'm basically baiting the bishop into the center. Did I just miss queen d4? Should have paused there. I guess there's knight f6, though. So. I'm pretty sure I've had this position before, coming from the nozzle was. So... Yeah, ideas of taking and taking and maybe like bishop d3 eventually. It's nice having the pawn on d5, restricting some development from black. Interesting. If I take, take. Bishop d3. So I'm threatening to take, take, and then queen h5. Although that, that might not work because black has an in-between move, bishop takes c3. Okay, well now I can take. On Poisson is not forced. Oh no, my bishop. Yeah, like if, if the pawn weren't on e5, there'd be this, and then I'd be losing material. But now I've won a pawn. It's not over though. Castle. Probably best to trade. Trying to calculate g4, knight h4, bishop h7. Also knight b5 to throw in. I probably should not have allowed that. Also, just realizing it's equal material. I gambited it earlier. Play knight b5, knight a6. Knight d3. Uh, 
Oh, what to do? King G7's coming. I'm threatening F4. Yeah, my bishop is a bit stuck. If, okay, King G6, I can play F4. Black is hacking a pawn. Oh, but d5 is falling. Yeah, it might be close to equal. Wow. It might be worse, actually. Uh. Try this. Let's build up a pawn. Oh, good move. It's not over, though. It's crazy. We might have the two knights situation thing that Nepo had. I got to trade all the pawns. Ah, uh, a lot of that. Still some chances, actually. Hmm. No. If I didn't have the pawn, it would be a draw. I'm going to give my opponent the chance to promote to another knight, because that would be funny. Promote to knight? No. Okay, it's probably time to resign. What to do? What happened that game? I thought Rook takes h2. King d2 was not a good move. My opponent was tactically sharp. Okay. It's actually an interesting like sequence in the endgame, though. The hope was that whatever it takes, I win one of these pawns. And even after I lost the pawn, Felt very close to being able to trade things off. Like here. Yeah, here it's probably too late, though. Maybe I should have played this. Oh, but this doesn't work. Yeah, black keeps the pawn.
I'm sure the engine just says box. Yeah. The verge of winning. The engine's not giving a huge decisive advantage, though. Knight b6 was a better try. So I have 18, knight takes g5. Let's see. Move 18. Oh, I did. Top move. Slight edge. It's a, yeah, I should have considered this. I don't think I even had that on my radar. I assume the point is after takes, takes 96. And then knight takes e7. I took some time after bishop g4 or two. I took over a minute. I was mainly looking at lines with rook. What was it? I was, I was calculating this line, knight b5, knight a6, rook d3. And concluded that it doesn't work because e4 and then there's bishop d7 here. Oh, but bishop d7... Ah, there's knight fd4. But it doesn't work because pawn takes knight. Also, I think I've given up on Zen mode. <laughs> Two games in a row, I forgot to turn it back on. Okay, let's see if I can try and gain back some rating. Back to emote only. Okay, we have a Catalan. It's a Ray Robson variation. Good sign, my opponent's taking time. This is not the most common line for black against the Catalan. I think A3 is probably the most trendy here. I had a game in Qatar that featured, I think it was in this exact position. My memory is a bit, a bit hazy though. I mean, white should work to win back one of these pawns. Knight d2, can I play b5? The knight here, I just blocked the diagonal. Oh, thank you, Alexandra Samaganova. With the raid, I appreciate that. Yeah, if you're just joining, it's Title Tuesday. We're in emote only mode. I was using Zen mode earlier to hide my opponent's name and rating, but forgot to enable it before the game started. A4, can I take? En passant. Bishop B7. Up upon here, I'm trying to complete development. Keep in mind, I have the move f6 if I need it. I mean, queen b6 also on the horizon. Knight b4. Attacking the pawn, eyeing the d3 square too. Is it poisonous? It's important life advice. Before you eat something, you should ask yourself, is it poisonous? I don't think it is. Ah, there is knight takes c4 though. Tricky. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, knight c4 I just take and win, win the knight. And now I'm attacking the knight and the pawn. So this is looking good. 
If we can win V2, I'll have three connected pass pawns. Just play a6, make a chain, knight c6 coming. Okay, rook d8 looks attractive, but is met with queen h5. So just play h6. Yeah, light really has no compensation. The knight on d2, the rook on a5 are both going to be targets. Now rook d8. Oh, did I... I allowed something. Fancy. I mean, I lost back a pawn, but... The good thing about being up three pawns is when you blunder a pawn, you're still up two pawns. I trap the rook somehow. That was just to develop. Yeah, I should have been a little bit more careful there, probably. I was having too much fun. I'm still having fun, though. Knight. Can you just knight c2 and then start pushing? Like, the rook can't really be attacked. I keep pushing. Keep pushing. A3 coming. I'm just trying to find the mate. Okay, this is simplest. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's Irene. Subbing for six months, courtesy of GCook. Okay, I won a game. I'm back at 50%. Um, that was round seven, right? Yeah, if I'm at 50%, then that had to be round seven. Um, I think overall that was a pretty smooth game. My opponent was just not familiar with opening. I held on to most of my queenside pawns. I did allow knight takes e4, which kind of simplified, so it was okay. Yeah, maybe maybe this or this were better options. Oh, sorry for the ad timing. Yeah, I'll try and remember to run an ad like between rounds, so it'll happen during during gameplay. My opponent did resign, yeah. I mean, the ending was maybe took a bit longer than expected, but it was decently smooth. Ooh, Dan Lyles against Sakaro. 
what's happening. Oh, it's really laggy here. Okay, this is a draw. This could be a long game, though. Thank you, Concupiscence. Or Concupiscence. Concupiscence? Concupiscence. <laughs> is this a, a real word? What does this mean? Oh, that's what it means. Okay. <laughs> I won't share the definition, at least for now. Oh, it's a theological term. Okay. Yeah, Google gave me a very blunt definition. Is Hikaru playing for a win? Hikaru's down a pawn, but maybe trying to create some mating ideas. It'd be crazy if Hikaru wins this. The Denlaz is a little bit too strong. Or is he? King G3? Still tricky. It's crazy how Black is the one playing for a win here. I just walk the king out though, yeah. I feel like a lot of players would have lost to Hikaru in that situation. Does it make you nervous when you know your opponent's rating or when you don't? Also, okay, 50 move rule. Let me turn back on Zen mode. Um, I feel that I feel like that question can be answered by what my heart rate is like viewers might be able to answer that better than me if you look at my heart rates when i play with zen mode or when i don't play with zen mode i think it more depends on the position though it probably depends on a lot of factors if i know i'm playing magnus i'm gonna definitely be nervous so in that sense i'm probably less nervous when I have Zen mode on. But if I'm playing a lower rated opponent, I don't think it makes a difference. And like earlier in the tournament, I played on Draken. I think if I knew I was playing on Draken, I would be a little bit more nervous. Have to run a, a more controlled experiment. Okay. Um, three and a half. This is round eight, so there is a break after this round. I was tempted to play the Stafford, at least try the Stafford. Sticking with Sicilian, though. So we have another Accelerated Dragon. I'm playing this Rookie 8 line. Yeah, with f3, because the bishop's undefended, there's ideas of d5 now. Which I think I can play right away. It's been a while since I looked at this line. Pretty sure I've, I've had this in my prep file before. A king h1. And probably bishop d7. I vaguely remember it's just equal. I may have just blundered the a7 pawn. White's not taking it. In bishop e5. And bishop e5 looks looks interesting. It takes I at least have bishop f4.
I just want to get my knight to g3. Easier said than done. I feel like I could have played bishop g3 there, maybe. I don't know. Still an idea. Really not sure what to do here. So bishop takes side, bishop b five. I see four take. I just like what 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 did I just do? I just blundered a bishop. I didn't see the knight could move in the L shape. Oops. Can I treat it as a gambit? That's not good. Play a six first. I don't know what I just did there. Completely blind to that. Oh, this is not good. Uh, that's really not good. Uh, What to do? I'm kind of sad now. You never know, though. Never resign when you have a rook. There goes my king. Okay. Uh, what to do? I mean, I just blundered a bishop in one move. Bishop b5. I also blundered a pawn in one move. 
My discovered attack idea didn't work. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's like a, a, a way for Black to get counterplay here. But maybe it's already good for white. Yeah, lights up a queen pawn. And there are so many cases where I left d5 hanging. Okay, so starting here, I mean, this was basically the extent of my prep. Like, I'm pretty sure I've I've seen this exact position before. And then, engine just wants takes on d4. Yeah, the crazy thing is when I played bishop b5, my opponent was thinking. Like they took 15 seconds to take the bishop. And at no moment did I realize the knight could take the bishop. I just saw him attacking this and this. What to do? Nepo got a castle fork? Really? Why is Nepo having all the cool games today? Where's Nepo? Nepo. 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 Oh, wow. Final position. <laughs> Look at this. Nepo wins in 14 moves with a castle fork. Okay, let's, let's see the game. So this is Nepo against... Uh, I think a newly awarded Grandmaster. This player was an IM not too long ago. Not too often you can win in 14 moves with black. Okay, so it starts as a... What do we call this? Norwegian defense. Bro thinks he's Magnus Carlsen. E5, okay. Gets a little bit weird here. Oh. Can already like kind of smell it coming with the king on d1. So white plays bishop. Wow, so white played bishop e3, probably seeing the pawn is hanging, but seeing white could win back the pawn on b7. So white calculated one, two, three, four moves ahead or four plies ahead, but then missed the final move from black. And this is what happened the game. Takes, light wins the pawn on b7, black to move and finish the game. Queenside castling, attacking the rook and the king. It's a castle fork. What a game from Nepo. That's another Rosen trophy. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Like, you don't see this too often in Title Tuesday. Or, like, ever. Only happens once in the blue moon. That's such a nice line, too. If black doesn't have casting, then white's probably in like very fine shape. Okay, so uh, back to the tournament. We are on a break. I have to find the timer link again. Oh, he barely used any time. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, players start with three minutes, so... <laughs> 14 seconds off the clock. Okay, three minutes until the next round. Um, I'm going to take a small break. 
I'll be back momentarily. So stay tuned and BRB. So less than a minute until next game. Let me switch tabs. Wait, how many points do I have? I'm still at three and a half. Okay. Not my best uh, score in recent memory. I'll try and at least have a strong finish. Three more games to go. Bali was refreshing, yeah. But two very long flights to get back home was not the most refreshing. So um, still trying to just stay awake, stay energized. Oops, okay, forgot to put on Zen mode. Um, let's put on emote only mode though. And here we go. I'm playing the um playing someone with four points, so that probably means I'm the highest rated player with three and a half. Okay. Queen H four. A typical Grand Prix attack ideas. And there's other ideas to play positionally on the queen side. C4 might be coming. And C4, I have D4. F5 is still on tap as well. To play bishop d2 first. This was a threat. Yeah, there is a try rook b2, rook b2, queen c3 hitting this and this, but I have bishop c1. So that should be okay. Yeah, meanwhile, the bishops just cut out. Knight e4 in some cases.
9d5 is tempting. I'm hitting the queen, threatening knight f6, preventing queen from retreating too. A knight f6 will be pretty deadly. It's like takes, takes, and I'll, I'll definitely be mating ideas. With king f8, I can take on h7. Not quite meeting though. H five. Just making sure. Oh, there's not enough six though. Maybe this first. Yeah, the bishop prevents queen f8. Okay. I got the win. Uh, back to 50%. I don't know what place I'm in, but probably not in the top 100. Oh, wow. There's almost 800 players playing. Oh, there's an I am with 8 out of 8. Is this a... Um... Oh, it's a different player. I was thinking it might be the player who like was doing really well at World Profit Blitz. Anyway, um, I think that was a pretty clean game. Got the typical Grand Prix ideas. Black didn't really manage to make much progress on the queen side. So, you can watch the top game. Uh, it's lagging. Actually, the site just completely froze. Oh, what just happened there? Wait, which color is which? So black is going this way. Okay, so we're looking from black's perspective. Is black winning? Black's going to queen with check? Wow. Yeah, you got to push. Black has a winning chances. Yeah, this pawn's falling. Black should be completely winning. Though maybe it's not super clear, because when you take, there's check. So black doesn't take. Okay, mate. Wow, 9 out of 9. Taking down Judah. No, no Stafford Gambit, just a normal Petrov. Yeah, something's like really slow with the site. I don't know if it's like my computer or just the server. When I click on, I try and click on something, it takes like several seconds to respond. Let me close down 
my tabs. So, but other other sites are working fine. Like my Twitch dashboard is working fine. What's the highest position Eric has had in Title of Tuesday? Like in terms of standing. I finished with 8 out of 11. This was back in October. Shortly after the Qatar tournament. Okay, next game will be in Zen mode. I think 8 points put me like top 30 maybe. Wait, are games still going? Let me check. Oh, there's one game going. Let me close out. Maybe that's the tab slowing everything down. White won on time. Black was up a pawn. Probably should have been a draw. Okay. Next game starting soon. There we go. Okay, mystery opponent. I can probably assume that my opponent's lower rated. No Stafford. Same repertoire today. Another Marazzi bind. Yeah, that was a bad move. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I have to turn the blunder into a gambit. I'm not happy with the way I've handled this. Okay, white doesn't take the pawn though. It's a good sign. That's an 94 idea. Still not looking great. Some idea to play bishop d7. Problem might be six. I'm still going for it. If white takes, and I take and rookie and win the bishop on e2, I think. If I take. I got to try this. I 
You got a lot of queen c3, rook a1. Although that might be okay, actually. Queen c3, knight e5, rook a1. Looks like my queen is trapped, but I have rook takes f3, counterattacking. And after takes queen e2, uh, doesn't look great. Rook e1, I, I take on f3. Maybe it's, yeah, it's salvageable. There's also the line bishop b7, rook b8. Bishop here, I have this. Takes, I can take here. But now what to do? E7 is really weak. And then E5. Problem is C5 in these lines. C5, queen a7. I mean, be down a pawn, but maybe there's some hope. Knight's on a good square, thankfully. Although f4 might happen. f4, I have knight g4. Queen d4 check. That's a move. I'm playing for a win now, given the time situation. I mean, the position's still bad, though. It should be a draw.
Okay. Still a draw. Have to be careful though. Okay, let's just make a draw. Okay. It took the server some time to realize it was a draw there. Uh, okay. Nope. Wait, what? For a brief moment, I saw Denlaz was, was on top, but I'm definitely not playing him. <laughs> okay, final round. Um, what to play? Let's play an ortho schnapp. Also, thanks for the raid, Mon69. I appreciate that. Guess I didn't have time to turn Zen mode back on. Um, Bishop here, I don't think is great. Let's go for. Let's go for this. So it's still somewhat of a gambit. I guess not anymore though. Take and now it's equal material. Black is casting quickly. So maybe I'll castle queenside. We'll have a hard fought game. Keeping the options open though, which way to castle? Okay, no more knights on the board. Hmm. Bishop d4. Take. And taking on b7 might be playable. Not sure what to do here. Let's try this. I'm sacking each two. If it takes, maybe I take here. So defending g2, we both now have files to work with. The h file, black has a b file. Both kings are still pretty safe. Opponent going for traits.
Play king c2. It's a weird move. I was waiting for black to trade. What can I take here? I'm threatening to take the rook now. Maybe black has this. This could get really sharp if I lose my kingside pawns but win all the queenside pawns. Also, if this, I have this, which may be preferable. I like my chances now. I could take on c7. Queen b5, just b3. It's still, ooh. Oh, that attacks a lot of things. Now I don't like my chances. Oh, that's really bad. Take there. Have to play this and pray. Do oh! was not expecting rook takes. <laughs> okay, not my tournament. Rook takes is probably completely winning though. I was expecting queen takes. Why basically pre move king d one? But there's probably no hope here. Yeah, somehow I was blind to all the threats. Okay. Oh no, my rating. Um, what to make of this game? <laughs> I played rook g3. I said I like my chances. <laughs> I would not have thought I would get mated four moves later. Hello, I'm Oceanborn. My trick was nice. I'm a little bit chat lagged. I still should not make excuses though for some of my moves today. But I think I need to, to take a break, find some food, get some rest. Um, I do plan to stream Title Tuesday later. Uh, so it's 12, 10 p.m. So the next Title Tuesday is in three hours and 50 minutes. So, yeah, I have a decent amount of time. Whoa, it's three all the way. Gifting another 50. <laughs> what place did I finish in? <laughs> I appreciate the... A super generous support. I don't think I finished top 20 or top 50. Yeah, I don't even know what place I finished in because I'll have to scroll down pretty far. And like this scroll ends up getting broken. Yeah. I guess we could watch the final games. Who's in first? I'm really struggling here to like navigate. Oh, the player, this player started nine out of nine, but it looks like they lost their last two. So it's a five-way tie for first. Wow. So Denlaz, looks like this is Korobov, Fedozeev, Duda, and Kuzabov. Yeah, five points. I don't think five is my worst title Tuesday result. It's definitely below average. My best is eight points, so... I guess I was only three points away from my best. So um, I will be back in a few hours. Stay tuned.